Evening everyone, just thought I'd stop by with one final video before we get to our last live stream of the year tomorrow night. So for a lot of you, the last exam that you've got is the physics on the Friday and some of you will even have the whole of tomorrow just to revise. Sorry if you do geography because I know that's not the case. But one of the things that I really recommend that you do at this point, so tonight and tomorrow, is learn as many of those physics formulas as you can including the ones that came up in the units on the paper one physics paper. The reason behind that is, number one, we know that on the paper twos they can have assumed knowledge from paper one, so that means they could ask you anything from the entire course. One thing we need to learn are those formulas. And secondly, it's quite likely to happen because we do have that entire topic on the energy analysis diagrams and the calculations associated with them on the paper two. So you need to know all of those equations to really help you out to answer some of these questions on the paper that you've got on Friday. So first thing I suggest you do is create little flashcards unless you've already got them, hopefully, and then just use them to test yourself on those formulas so that you've got those there fresh in your mind. When we come to do the live stream tomorrow, which will be at six o'clock as usual, then what we're going to do is run through this just in the correct topic order. So we'll do all of the wave stuff, whether it's combined or the separate physics, all in one time. And the reason we're going to do that where we didn't for the chemistry is because actually, until we get to the very end of the last topic, there's not much that's different between combined and the separate sciences. So I'll just highlight those in the video as I have done previously. Hopefully this has been useful to you over the past few weeks of all of these wonderful videos that we've been doing together and obviously if there are particular things that you want me to go through in a little bit more detail in the physics then post up a comment and then I'll try to give a little bit more time to those. But number one, go and learn those formulas because that's really going to help you out in the exam on Friday.